Hi guys, Intruder here. We're going to look at our first look at a game called Anchi. Uh, I just want to turn this music down a bit more. There we go. So Anchi is a Steam game coming out on the 23rd of February 2021. Developed by Andre Ledermuller and published by Hyderland Gameworks. So thank you guys for the review key through IndieBoost.com. Anchi, uh, grab your hoverboard and explore the ancient, mysterious world of Anchi as you glide across caves, large deserts, and old temple ruins to discover its secrets. Featuring stunning visuals and an original soundtrack, Anchi delivers a unique, breathtaking experience. <coughs> So I said a controller is strongly recommended to play Anchi. And I have one next to me, but I'm going to be stubborn and try keyboard and mouse. Devil Sullivan is providing the original soundtrack on his Bandcamp. There's a URL on the Steam page. You can check it out. And Anchi's on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com slash Anchi Game. So there you go. Let me just copy the URL. Paste it in here for those interested. <coughs> well, that's the Steam page. That didn't work. Where is that link? Copy. No. Anyway, that's the Steam page. So let's jump straight in. to activate. Lost memories survived the crash. W and S to move. And ask to look around. Twenty off the edge. Totally did it. You see it? It's that quick. Shift to run. Not 
getting used to this camera angle. You need to use the cover board, hover board. Space to jump. Oh. Caves discovered. What is this? E to activate, okay. Elders discovered. The elders are higher conscious beings. They are helping you through your journey with little hints. Okay. You activate. Whoa, there they are. Use a mouse to look at the syllable and press E to assemble the word. Artifact one of twelve collected. Okay. So you can't just fling off the edge, okay? Fair enough. That's where I came from. Oh, I hit my head! Sorry. Fragments to restore your memories during the meditation. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I need 
to jump? Can I do... Just like a jumping puzzle? Yep. Got that there. Companion found. The companion is a small but powerful being. It has incredible abilities, is very loyal, and follows you everywhere. Go through this journey together. Okay. Oh, we got one of these. Okay. Let's get on the skateboard hoverboard. So what do we get? Awesome. How does we go to a bubble? Three. 
feel like I'm kind of going on the right path. Not just over the hills, way over there. What does this mean? I guess I can just keep going forward. There we go, help what out. Go nuts like XO1, I guess. The large desert. Which one's closer? Which one's closer? Stone one, okay. I wonder if there was twelve artifacts in that whole zone, or if it's twelve cumulatively over the over the game.
electricidad. There's a way up here. <clears throat> Could be. way bigger than I thought. Okay. Nope. Alright, it's time to go this way. I can't get up there, can I? No, it's not letting me go. Alright. Okay, game. Play it your way. I'm going to avoid that big structure ahead of me, but maybe I need to go straight through it. Ah. Sometimes the most direct path is the most direct path. There's no secrets. Sometimes it's just simple. Old defense wall discovered. Any cheeky little cheeky little discoverables? Probably not. Again, it could just be stick to the basics. Yeah. No one listen. Downhill sesh. No, it's, it's on rails. Idle and game works. Presents. Game by. Andre Lidemuller. Music. Right. It is good music. Devil Sullivan. I do like the music. And she. Okay. A little waypoint. Oh, something else. Let's go here first. Alright, this is where we learn intellect. Dialect, I mean.
Okay, so we'll do that structure first. The same barrier. Okay. Didn't really notice the difference between that and fate. Alright, so it's pointing me this way. Right up. Let's go this way. Shiny cave, it's, it's luring me in. Gameplay is simple, but it's exploratory and intriguing. So, is this a new memory fragment? Jet man again! What a legend with the raid! 18 people, 18 Jervillians! Welcome dudes and dudettes! Hello plays! Syrix! Nice guys! They're all a bunch of legends. Welcome to this weird and wonderful game called And She. How are you, Jed? Did you have a good man talk tonight? Game's very loud. It's it is loud, and get and check out these settings. It's twenty percent. Let's go to ten percent. How's that? Take for the follow. Is that better? Sweet. Thanks, guys. It's uh, it's 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 a uh, interesting game. So I just played uh, XA One again, Jerd because it's so damn cool and then I thought this looks kind of similar and it sort of is but it's a bit more exploratory we had Jess Bruce on nice very good yeah I can't wait to see more of X01 that's just like I could it's like playing Flight of the Navigator but more chill Yeah. So this guy has got he's an alien that's crashed and he's got this awesome hoverboard and I'm going along collecting memory fragments and also artifacts X1 is cool but isn't there only a demo? Yes, yeah, so there's a free prologue demo and then Content creators and a few others have been able to get an extended kind of preview version of X01, which takes it well beyond probably twice or maybe more longer of gameplay. And uh, it's really intriguing. Like, I played the prologue and I really enjoyed it. And then I played this um, extended preview that Jerd's played as well. And man, I want to know what happened. I don't want to know what's going on. I want to know what's happening and I also want to explore more because it was, it was cool there was like a, a, a water like a, a vast ocean with all these meteors coming down and every time a meteor crashed down it shot up a jot of air and then that made you go far and it was pretty damn cool but this game is quite interesting I don't quite know what's going on yet but neither did I die in XA1 and that just explained itself so Let's see what this one's about. Right, so am I down somewhere? Yes. Right, so these are memory fragments. Collect these. So far it didn't really do much. Like it's it's all about imagery and I kind of haven't connected the dots yet. So that was two of three. I 
do like the music in this game. That's one cool thing. Alright. So what else is coming up? I know it's late where you are, Jerd. What else is coming up in Jerdville? Game-wise, talk-wise. Oh, that's the memory fragment. Because I love what you're doing. E to activate. There we go. Go back up. Oh, have you have you um have you managed to fix medium yet? Oh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Breath of the Wild on uh, Twitter. Can't wait for you to experience that. Okay. Let's go this way. I haven't retired the medium yet. Well, I hope they... I hope it fixes. Have you... Tr I, hope, I hope you can... Because if I remember correctly, the dog showed up at one of the signposts, and I think when I was watching your gameplay, you went right, and then I went left and the dog appeared. So maybe if you have a save game before you get to the first set of crossroads, if you remember that part in the game, you're playing it blindfolded. Which one? Breath of the Wild blind. Oh, he's playing blind. Blind playthrough. I get it. I get it. It's gonna be good. <laughs> he's gonna listen and use his use the force or use the jerd. That's what he's gonna do. The empower the people, people power, to get him through. This is what he does. He just actually does it. Light isn't okay anymore. Yeah, they removed it from uh, Twitch as a category, as a tag. Yeah, first run. That's the one. There is there is a new tag. I think they either made a new tag or uh, I think there's uh, I think there is first run or something like that. Yeah, first playthrough. Yep. Here we go. I thought I heard about that somewhere. Yeah, there was a big of a bit of a furor about it. At the end of the day, we just gotta play games. It's your first playthrough. If you don't know what you're doing, you gotta describe it somehow. First does not equal blind. Exactly. Not saying we should keep blind, but we need something new. Yeah, we need something fresh, maybe fresh, fresh gameplay. I don't know. Doesn't sound cool though. It's a jerd run. No idea what the fuck is happening. <laughs> yes, patent it, trademark it, do it. Oh, can I do some little? No. Well, I got to get to that green waypoint up ahead. I just do not know how to get there. Can I go this way? I don't think so. I can! But it doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. All for a Jerd run. Jerd runs are the best. I love Valhalla. I love Odyssey. I like a lot of what Jerd does. At the end of the day, it's just about bloody gaming, isn't it? Having fun while doing it. Unless you get stuck like this and don't know what the fuck you're doing. A little companion is not helping much. Hmm, let's go over here. Because there is that circular structure, but. Maybe a little kick flip. No, the flips don't work. No. I think I may have found a fix for medium. Load, not continue to save. Yeah, try load. Definitely try load. Oh, Don't you hate it when it's right there? Actually, get off my hoverboard. 
Can I... Can I jump up here? I mean... I hope you fix a medium, because I, I um, played through the ending again the other night. Man, so good. I want to I want to ask you a question when you finish the game. I want to know what your thoughts are on, on something. Oh, this sucks. I hate when you, like, get cornered by, the, like, the game kind of progresses and feels like it's going this way. And you get to a bloody dead end. Uh, gonna get some food. Nice. Really want to finish. I was enjoying it. Good. No worries. Thanks for lurking, guys. Like, lurks are as good as good as anything. Pop in, say howdy, have a cup of coffee, get some food. Carry on the vibes. Except when you get frustrated with not knowing what to go. Maybe I just don't go this way at all. Look at that, it's right there. That's where I want to be. Uh, is it something? No. Alright. F this area. Uh, nope, no secret passage there. Oh, no, that's my companion. If I look at my companion, what is he doing? Doesn't help me know which way to go. Nope. I'm pretty sure I've been in that cave. So let's try and go this way. This looks promising. Ah, here we go. Something. What is this? Or is that what I've already seen? This could be what I've already seen. Oh, he's having a look. He's having a look? No? Alright, that means I've already seen it. And I'm pretty sure I went... Oh, there's only one way you can go. God damn. Oh no, what do I do? So that's where I can't... Okay, let's, uh, let's retrace the steps. It's a common strategy for figuring out what the hell to do. What have we got? What have we got? We got anything? No. So that's where we came from. That's where the kind of game uh, introduction came from. So it's got to be this way. Something I'm missing, which is not uncommon. got to be this way. So there's nothing down here. Nope. There's that cave, which I've already been in. It's got to be this way. There was that weird door thing back there too. It's, it's really, it's pulling me this way because I just went faster. It's definitely this way. All right, so it's got to be something in here. Okay, something to do with this.
What? Did you say that? Oops. Bit of a glitch. Developers, there's a bit of a glitch. That's when you pan right over there. Okay. This isn't helping. Get past this bit. The hell do I do? See if we can get up these pillars. You run so slow. Oh, maybe, maybe this is. No? Okay. Oh, you can't even get on it. Yeah, I can see the wall, the, the wall of the. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, damn, what do we do? Be something here. Oh, oh, is that another, another bug? Yep. So we can't go. Up there. We can't go up there. This is annoying. I may have to. I'm gonna try a couple of other things. Then I might have to give up and ask the developers what to do. So this is a game called Anchi coming out on Steam on the 21st of Feb this year, obviously. Uh, I was given a pre-release version and I do not know what to do. This game is good. Color palette is a little full. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Uh, I just do not know what to do. That's where I, I need, that's where I need to be. And I can't kick flip up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm so close, like uh, but then it is an invisible border. So you can't even get up, up there. The levels inside are much better in terms of like brightness. But it's I don't, I certainly don't need a ring light when I've got this screen open. Um, fuck. It's right there. And it looks like I can... See, I don't know if that's an error there, like, in terms of... That's the edge of the tile. And it's stuff up with the camera. But then it looks like a cave you can go in, but no, that's definitely camera issues. The turn around and that looks like a wall. Yeah, camera issues. Okay. Damn it, what the heck? Nope. No hidden walls. This is a bummer. No, I might have to give up. Ask the devs what to do next. Hmm, that's a bummer. We go actually. Okay, one more thing. One more thing to try is go in that cave again. Hey, giving up. I need to exhaust all options and then cry. Definitely nothing here. No. Okay, last resort, go in this cave here. Again. 
All right, so now it softens off that, that brightness, which is much better. So that's the memory fragment. No way. And then around here, there's nothing. There's a bloody invisible wall again. Okay. So we go up this way. That's annoying, because if that's the case, will I give me that whole area to explore if there's nothing there? Oh, god damn it. Okay. Wait. Is this a thing I've already got? I feel like that's already I've already been there. I'll try. Yeah, this sand is burning my eyes. Promising. But I'm pretty sure I've done that bit already. Maybe not. Interesting architecture. So there's the waypoint getting closer. I'm pretty sure I've done this. This is the elevator thing. Let's try anyway. McFly! I've traveled 15 meters. McF McFly! Okay. Maybe I need to go this way. So that's definitely the lift I was in before. And this is certainly taking me close to the waypoint. Okay. This feels... Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Look at that drop. Oh! <laughs> I love the Chiefs. Chiefs are the best. I'm not an achievement hunter, but Chiefs are just like... Little... Little cream on the top. Especially when you get pre-release games like Jordan and I have, and you get the awesome diamond rare achieves from Xbox. You go back and forth on achievements. Some of them, um, like when it's progressive, it's fine. And then sometimes when there's like, um, you know, uh, collect 10 pieces of the puzzle, whatever, they're okay. But sometimes those, 10 pieces of the puzzle things are like what makes me burn out on a game or a story like in Assassin's Creed trying to find all the feathers or the notes and stuff man I get I burn myself out trying to 100% each area I do it every single time there's one of those am I controlling this? no not really Ooh, very arty. Look at those birds. They definitely break immersion, but I have fond memories of getting achievements in the 360 days. Yeah. I remember I used to, with the 360, I used to uh, take off like three weeks every July and just smash games when you're, when you're a single guy. Just hate when they take over the story. Yeah. Or give away potential spoilers like the medium, perhaps. I did find in medium, like you knew you had to do, you knew you were about to do something and then it gave you the achievement for the thing, like right before you did it. I found that a little weird, a little bit breaking. It wasn't spoilery, I don't reckon, but it kind of, yeah, it kind of told you the outcome as you were literally about to do it. All right. This music is really damn cool. The music style is the best part of this game so far. I reckon I go here. 
the game is going to tell you let the game tell you yeah all right what is this Yeah, you saved Jonathan, exactly. Yeah. That, that kind of thing. It was, it was a little weird. It was a little jarring. Uh, okay. So. Alright, so that's where I came from, over there. Let's go this way. Yeah, well, who's John? I haven't met him yet. Now I know. All right, I'm progressing. Bad didn't give up. But man, it's bright as hell. Oh, there's the there's the waypoint. I'm going to turn the brightness down. Mm, no. No. All right, not to burn our eyes. So when's uh. I've always played mostly on Nintendo, so achievements only happen if a company like Ubisoft EA shoehorn in their own achievements. There's been talk about Xbox Live coming to Switch for years. Yeah, I mean, they've... I've heard that too. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I, I don't like monopolies, but I like how Xbox and PC are so gelled together. And I like gaming for everyone but not if it's a monopoly. Oh damn, what's going on? Oh! Oh Jesus. Microsoft have accepted that they will never make a portable system work and if they want their stuff on a portable console it's better to just embrace the fact that Nintendo has that market corner. This is very true. I was just thinking hey, Nat, before you wrote that, what's the benefit? And the benefit is you play a butt ton more games on a portable device. Yeah, X have you guys tried xCloud? I've got, I've only got an iPhone, so I'd, I haven't tried it yet. I, I hear xCloud's coming to iPhone soon. I'm looking forward to trying it. But then xCloud, you needed a connection, whereas Switch, not so much. Although most games now are games as a service, so. Interesting. Goes all right. Yeah, cool. Do you notice there's much lag at all? Like, have you tried it at your home Wi-Fi versus like on a bus type thing? Fake superior. The music is fantastic. Yeah, I do. This is. I reckon the music is the best part of that. This game so far. Like I've, I was frustrated earlier just trying to find which what what to do, but the music's like. Giving you a Zen. Reception based, both times I wasn't moving. Okay. Alright. Pointing me. And what's weird with this game also is like, um, I lose orientation when a cutscene or something takes over. It doesn't. I don't feel I remember which way I was supposed to go. But this big yellow shiny is telling me to go this way. 
<clears throat> what else we got? What else we got? Okay. So that looks like maybe I can launch myself up there. Um, Rad B Show. I mean, you have to think that if someone has Xbox and Switch, they're still using the Xbox for their main system, so integration with Nintendo only stands to benefit those users or expand the user base with people who get a live account once it goes to Switch. That's true. I mean, I've got a Switch which is sitting somewhere. Somewhere close. I feel like it's close. Yeah. I haven't touched it. Like, I'll, I'll, I'm touching it if I'm reviewing a game on it. And I also got these recently. Called the AFT2 Wireless... Bluetooth wireless headphones from Audio Fly. Up to 35 hours of listening time, which is pretty damn cool. So I'm going to use those on the um, on the Switch. But otherwise, I've got my PC and I've got Xbox, and they're connected. Oh, you can't just can't see it because of the light. How's that? Yeah, you can't you can't get the idea. Um. But yeah, I just don't use the Switch. But if I if I had access, I mean, and then there's a game like called Trials Rising. I don't know if you guys have played that, which is like a physics-based motorcycle game, which is freaking cool. Uh, I love playing Trials, and I'll play it on any device. Um, but I had to pay like seventy bucks to get it again on the Switch. Whereas that's the beauty of Game Pass or those types of Netflix for games. And even better if it's cross, cross play or cross platform. Uh, you see the trials demo on the eShop. They're definitely worth looking at. Oh, I finished Zone Two. Nice. I bumbled my way through that one. If you haven't played Trials before, Trials Rising is definitely a good way to get into the game because it's got a, it's got a uh, a really good tutorial system called the University of Trials. And there's a guy who's an Australian. Um, his name's Brad Smith, I think. Anyway, Brad, or he's called Uni University of Trials or Uni of Trials on Twitter. He's got this whole YouTube video, uh, series, but he is the tutorial master in the game, uh, and such a legend. And he was a yeah, Australia, fellow Australian. He was at E3 2018 on the stage presenting Trials Rising with the guys. Your name's Brad Smith? What? How cool is that? Now I'm gonna have to look up his name, make sure I've got it right. Let's see. Brad. Um, no, Brad there. Uni of Trials. Damn it, can't see his surname. Let's see. About. No. Oh, Professor Fat Shady is his nickname in the game. Uh, nah, lost it. That's alright. Anyway. Cool guy. Really cool guy. It's good. Uh, Pete and Dan from the Game One Oz podcast interviewed him, and it was yeah. He explained what it was like standing, you know, being an Australian, being invited to Ubisoft, and and standing on stage with them. It's really cool. Um, I've seen there's an Easter egg in that game where he recorded a bunch of dialogue for like when you sit still. Yeah, sit still for five minutes straight or something. Yeah, exactly. It gives a shit. It's awesome. He, uh, I was playing the game on stream one day and he popped in and, and I looked at the nickname Uni of Trials and I'm like, wait, are you, are you the Professor Fashion? He's like, yes. And that's where he told me, he said, sit still for a while. And I'm like, okay. So I sat there and I forget what he says, but hilarious. You remember him from E3? Oh, cool. He's lost a lot of weight since, that, since E3 2018. I wish I could. I have, I'm having a man shake. I'm not 100% committed to it though. My kids 
and my work. Work at the moment, because we're locked down over here. But I need to I need to find my chi. My my balance. I haven't found a balance yet with my nine month old and my three year old. And sleep and gaming and trying to find that perfect balance. Oh I got the toilet rolls. You better believe it. It was so funny, like, I was having lunch in uh, a suburb called Rockingham, which is south of Perth, with my family, and we are eating lunch, and we saw uh, our premier hop on Facebook for an announcement. We're like, oh, shit. Because we've been, it's been an inev inevitable, a lockdown in here, in WA. Like, we've been uh, just on 10 months community fr free, and then, uh, you know, it was, gonna, it was bound to happen. It took one guy, and it shut down. Anyway. So yeah, we, we scoffed our lunch and went, shit, we've got to get home. Because that was, let's say lunch was uh, one o'clock. And then they said lockdown was from 6 p.m. And Rockingham is about half an hour away from where I live. So we're like, shit, we've got to get, we've got to get home. We've got to get some long life milk and a few other little things. Just, you know, because can't go. Well, you can go out shopping, but we thought, fuck it, we'll just buy some stuff. And we walked from the restaurant to the Woolies down the down the shopping center. We started seeing all these people walking back with just toilet rolls, nothing else, just just toilet rolls. Ridiculous. And then we got to the shop and we looked at the counters, and they were about twenty or thirty deep at that point. So we went into the shop and bought toilet rolls, not because of stupidity, but because we actually did actually have a legit reason to get them. Everyone was getting to like every trolley had toilet rolls in it. It was insane. Now I'm freaking stuck here again. Maybe oh here we go. Noob, I should just go straight. I thought I did that already, but anyway, let's try. But it was nuts. So we we walked around the shop and got some um, you know dried bickies and things for the kids and. Uh, baby wipes that kind of stuff because we legit needed them and we, we probably spent I don't know five minutes up you know eight minutes getting some essentials and by that stage the sh the uh, the line of people to get you know go through the checkout was snaked all the way around down the side of the shop to the back of the shop it's fucked so we're in there for just over an hour in the queue but, uh, yeah, ridiculous. Ridiculous. And toilet rolls, like... You're not gonna shit yourself and get gastro in lockdown. It's just crazy. Uh, outer temple area discovered. Nice. Right, what do we got here? So there's this, there's these things here. So you got the elders that you see here, and then you go here, and you learn a word. So it's kind of like No Man's Sky learning their dialect. And you got these symbols, and you got a formal word. So so far, all I've done is put the three things up. Put that there and that. So there's, there's no real skill to that bit. I don't see the point and that says contact unless later in the game you should you need to remember those things we shall see um, so there's a big waypoint there oh E to activate. Okay, we've got something here. This is new.
どパワージェネレーターアクティベートオッケー Alright, what can we do with the power generator then? <laughs> okay, so what's that done? So we've got that already. Oh, that's red. Maybe it's pointing this way. Oh, okay, so maybe we've got to turn some of these on. Let's see if there's one over this way. Hmm. Oh. Let's go to this one. That one's red now, okay. Let's see what we got. Monkey on this one. This does not feel safe. Look at me go, my bloody head tilting. What a noob. Another memory? How many have I got now? One of three. Alright. One. There's a yellow one behind it. Alright. Well, I reckon I can get, get to the end of this stage and then call it a night. This could take a long time. Upper Gardens discovered. Alright. Okay, I've got one of these living things. <laughs> Life energy activated. Jed, thank you for the raid, mate. I really appreciate it. That's really cool. Good to chat. 
I hope you fixed the medium. Looking forward to you finishing that, and we'll have a chat once you finish it because I want to talk about the ending. And I'm really looking forward to you playing Breath of the Wild. It's going to be cool to watch that playthrough. But right, sleep well. I know it's late where you are. But appreciate it, mate. Thank you. And all the followers from Jedville. You're all awesome. Let me know. No worries. Have a good night. You too, man. Oh, look at the meteors above there. Bloody legend. Oh, you're playing GeoGuessr. That's a cool game. I watched a few streamers play that too. What the heck? What are here again? I know I've got to get in there. I'm being blocked. Maybe I have to go all the way this way. Excuse me. Oh, it's so weird that there's invisible walls everywhere. This is where I came in. Yep, another invisible wall. One of these has to have a way up. Here we go. Oh, wow. Well, doesn't that look cool? Hmm. Oh, so I can't go in the water. Okay. Ah, here we go. 
Another memory fragment. Two or three? Two. Okay. Oh, come on here. Get the hoverboard out. Building bridges. Interesting. Cool. Don't want to become famous by that thing. Submit and block. 
close. Yeah. Annoying. Alright. How do I get out? Good. Here we go. So this feels like we're getting up out of the temple a bit and there's those lights again so I wonder what's going on here we go I wonder what it looks like outside dark darkness it's kind of pointing me this way discovered Memory fragment three of three. Okay. And th this is the part where I'm like, it was leading me, leading me, leading me. And then it stops. <clears throat> so I just don't know what to do next. forward so I'm overthinking it obviously Breather, fair enough. Oh, he's gonna lie down. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Awesome. Onwards.
Hey, finish zone three. Sweet. All right, well, I might leave the game there then. I'm off to bed. Let's see what this cutscene does. Loading saved. Okay, well, I am going to go to the menu. Wait. Ah. Quit? Oh, I don't want to quit the game yet. Okay. Just sit in the menu so I can do a sign off. There we go. Oh, okay, so just this one Oh, Jesus, we did the sound. Oh my god. Cool, there we go. Alright, one is Inferno. This is my first look at Anshi. And just to recap the. Uh, the game. So it comes out on the 23rd of Feb this month. Developed by Andre Ledermuller and published by Hardland Gameworks. Thank you guys for the review key through IndieBoost.com. It's it, yeah, very interesting so far. It's um, a journey of discovery, really. Uh, exploration, finding memory fragments, that kind of thing. Pretty cool. Find, yeah, find it on Steam and give it a wish list. Support the developers. And go from there. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the raid, the big raid from Jerdman, the legend. Here's a good egg. Uh, thank you for the follows from. Let me just go back to my other screen. Thank you for the follows, uh, Cyrix, Radby Show, and Fake Superior. Thank you very much for joining tonight. Thank you for the chats as well. It's good to always chat while you're playing. And that'll do me. All right, my name's Inferno. Have a great week in gaming. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.